halibut is the biggest flat fish in the world. The females can grow as large as a man. Chefs love its firm texture and delicate sweet flavor. All winter long, these Pacific halibut have been left to grow, but today is different. Anchor! It's the 12th of March, the beginning of halibut season. The first halibut to reach U.S. consumers can fetch more than $20 per pound. Each year, an elite group of fishermen race to get their catch back to port. Yeah! Oh, here comes the halibut. If things go well, a mere deckhand can walk away with $20,000. Breakfast of champions. And breakfast is included. The crew of the Genoa work under Captain James. He's 35 and one of the best halibut fishermen on the Gulf of Alaska. Try to get as much fish on as we can here, as quick as we can, and get in and uh, try to get uh, the best price we can right off the bat. This year could be Jane's best ever. Every goddamn hook. The halibut are virtually throwing themselves onto the Genoa. Unbelievable. Holy shit. Yeah, they're coming up relentlessly. But catching a lot of fish isn't enough to make anybody rich. If those fish aren't processed, packed, and on a plane heading for Chicago or Seattle at the end of the day, their value could drop by as much as $60,000. And that's where Jess Yeoman and her team come in. When the Genoa's caught her fill of fish, they'll head back to Homer's spit. This is Halibut Town. It may have a population of just 5,000, but it's the capital of the halibut fishing industry. One in every four halibut eaten in the contiguous United States passes through here and many of them are processed at the auction block. Getting customers the freshest fish possible means hard, fast work for the crew. It's a physical job. And it can be dangerous. How's it feel? The factory may be small and reek of fish, but last year it processed 12 million pounds of halibut.